Hi folks, um, I want to talk to you about HTML color uh, because you know the, the color spectrum is not um, seems what to be presented in your web browser. Your web browser is very limited to the number of colors that you could present on any web browser. You're talking about Firefox, Chrome, Edge, Safari. All these web browsers, they have limitations on what they produce. And the amount of limitations in the browsers that they produce, I'm just put up some notes up here for you with it. So um, <clears throat> in the format that they would, um, and I want to discuss to you what is the format of how you actually present the colors with it. So today, we're going to talk about HTML color in this particular session with it. I want to talk to you about mainly specifically with the HTML colors that um, how you do your layout and color and match with it is specified by the using the predefined using the uh, the predefined uh, color name use or what's called RGB red green and blue combinations of that the hex of value. And another one is HSL, RG, um, RG, BA, and HL, HSLA, and your and the values. So all these are different values you could set up with as well. I want to point out there's a really good website that I bookmark um, to when I design web pages and layouts for it. It's www.http and it's called HTML dash um, color uh, name names.com uh, and uh, the, the the file is color dash uh, chart dash PHP all right I'm just going to copy this right now let me copy this copy it and highlight copy I'm going to open up a, a web browser and paste this in here and talk to it a little bit about color with it this is what the website looks like and there's there's 140 colors in here that you're your 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 web browser could present so you can call it by any one of these name sky blue you know slate blue to anything that's bis to beige it's all in here with it you can call it by its name I'm gonna click on one of the colors for you to see like for example let's p click on aqua so in aqua it has here's the color name the hexadecimal color every hexadecimal value starts out what's called a pound sign and a six digit letter all right that comes behind it um, and then or you you could call up a color by its RGB which is 0 comma 255 comma 255 with it so either one of these three combinations that you could use in your code it will work as well there's a really neat um, I want to point out is there's uh, I really like this right here sort by color groups you see this link right here and what how I like this and how I use this is um, if you're using a, a, a palette of if you want to see everything that's matching the last time I did something very similar to this was that I created a baby website for this particular client and I use this pink color name so of course it was for a baby girl with it but you could see the borders and everything you lay out on here it's all matching colors with it uh, if it was a boy well of course I had to go to use the blue section with it <clears throat> but they were expecting a baby girl and you can see the spectrum of colors here, how it contrasts, how it gradually change with this. Um, you can use any one of these values in here. Of course, they broke this down on columns of color names as well. So great tool, great website. I use, I bookmark this when I start to design websites with it uh, and color matching with it. You know, with it. So this is another reference you can look at. All right. So. Um, Continue on. The first thing I want to do is from this point on, we're going to use is the Visual Studio Code, and <clears throat> I'm just going to create this on my uh, thumb drive and, like I said, storage on there as well with it. So if you want to, yeah, I I have Visual Studio uh, Code installed, right? So you can do Visual Studio the code, and the ribbon looks like this it's kind of like a little ribbon looks like that and I want to show you um, it's 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 a really nice uh, IDE uh, I kind of get into and talk to you about a little bit about how the difference in IDE and what you do with the IDEs versus what's called a text editor 
the notepad that we've been using is a text pad or with it as well. So uh, I don't know if I, I got into this with you so much with it, but once you have this installed, a couple of things we need to um, do. Um, if you click on this, um, this double piece of paper right here, it shows you this particular folder. Yeah, but hold on a second. I'd like for you to find the preference. Um, if you look at and find the preference on here and come down on File, Preference, and Settings. Um, a couple of things that would help you is if you went in, you know, like I said, I'm doing this, projecting this on the screen for you, so I'm keeping it the font size is 24 with it. More important, what I'm looking for is the word wrap with it. So if you can find where it says word wrap and enable it with it, so um, uh, auto save is good, uh, you know, I, uh, with it as well. Um, auto delay, font size, font family tab let's see i forgot where that particular here it is word wrap right here do you see where it says word wrap right here do a pull down on that yeah scroll down on that and click on on for me all right so this will help you for me you know when you type it comes down to the next line with it so i don't have to scroll left and right to the same other than that we're we're, we're good so close off this x rear on the settings and we're back to here with it now I'm going to uh, create a folder inside of with today's date happens to be February the 18, 20, uh, 2020 with it. So I'm going to open a folder. Um, I'm going to find, of course, I'm just going to navigate to my class website with it. So um, let's just let's just do this one right here with it. And I'm going to use today's date is the 218 with it. So your file structure should look at this time very similar to what I have right here, 02-18-20. So the only file that's floating outside of this is the index.html at this level here. Of course, you don't see it here, right, because I asked directories to actually follow it. So you should have two subdirectories. You're going to have, after a couple of more exercises, you're going to have another subdirectory called CSS, but not to worry about that in this exercise. So for today's date, whatever today's date is, you create that directory for me, okay? So this is what I currently have, and I'm going to just do and point it to that much with it for you right now with it. So um, I want to point out a couple of things in here is that if you want to link it from your index page with it, then you have to open it from a level above it, okay, like this. So I have it looking inside of 0, 2, 18 uh, with it. So if I want to open um, that, that's what it looks like inside right now. I don't have anything inside of this right now with it as well. That's okay. So after we do this and you're going to link from your index page into this and from this page out to which you will to have to do for this for your index page, you're going to have to open that this in your state at the level of IMED with it as well. So just for the purpose of demonstration, let me do that while we do that so, I, so you don't forget. So let me do File, Open Folder, and I'm going to navigate to at this level right here. So I want to open this as the folder. I met 1316 or 1416, that's what you have. I'm going to click that, and it's going to open all the content of it looking like this. Okay. Now the folder that we just created is 021820, which is this one right here. I don't have anything in it, right? So I'm going to click on that folder come up to new file this little first icon has a little plus i'm going to click on it i want you to name that folder that file sorry name that file called colors.html for me colors.html so this file is not an html file it is a file inside of the directory called 021820 it's very important that you have that so it looks like this right now it looks like your, your directory should have like an indented in, moved in with a file called colors.html, and it should be under whatever today's date is. All right. So just to be consistent with everything else we have out here. All right. So here, uh, let's start with our just our basic skeleton. Those of you remember, you start with doc type, right? And you know how nice this thing closes off your tag because you set up your IntelliSense in this as well. Uh, the first thing you need to do is what? Start your HTML tag. So at the moment, I do HTML tab and I close off that tag it close off that tag just give it a couple space down two sections that you need to know for your uh, HTML is your head section okay so that's one section why don't I go ahead and put in the title tag in here okay so this is I'm just gonna call this HTML color all right 
And then, of course, inside your, after your closing your tag, you have your body tag. And this is where most of our code will reside, it's between this. Okay. So, this is our basic skeleton right now, you should have up to this point with it. All right. So, I just want to, let's start off with that much with it. All right. Um, I'm going to come in here, I want to talk about the background color right now. So, let's do the first, comment this out with it. Uh, with it. So, so the first step we're going to do is what's called the background color. And in the background color, we can see the background color. Let's just try some of this stuff with it. I'm going to do an H1. And this H1, I'm going to use style. And you notice my IntelliSense kicked in, right? So I'm going to use that IntelliSense. And I click on it, or tab, and it, it tells me what properties that I do I want to actually use. So it's going to be background, and I'm going to just look for a background color which is this one right here that I have on the top. I hit tab. Tab's your best friend. Remember that. And you pick a color. I want to, heck, I want to pick a color called Dodger Blue. All right. And it kind of filters up my IntelliSense with that. Hit tab. It fills it up for me. Is that nice? And then I'm going to come over, hit right arrow. And now I'm going to close that tag off. It closed off the H1 tag for me. I'm going to say, hello, world. Okay. You can say that, or some message like this is a H1 tag, or I should say header one tag, okay, with Dodger blue color, okay, with something along that line, right? And let's try another one. So if you want to do a, uh, a paragraph tag with that, that's that's fine with that as well. So it automatically wraps it for you and makes it really nice that how this actually fits in a lot of your coding with it. Uh, I don't know why this thing has this little thing on the side on it, but anyway. Uh, if you want to see what this looks like, Control S. You can come over and find that file that we have. Let me find where that directory is. Uh, 